Hello, my name is Josh Burchie and I'm the owner of Steerco AGR Performance Steering. This video is number two of five discussing fluids for your power steering system and this one's about synthetics and why I just don't recommend them. I even asked some of you guys on social media what your thoughts were on synthetic power steering fluids and I want to read some of those. This guy says it handles the heat a lot better. This other guy says a synthetic doesn't break down as fast with heat. This guy says, I can tell a difference in my vehicle when I use synthetic oils in the, in the engine and transmission, so why not a power steering fluid? This other guy says, it's not uncommon for steering temperatures to set at 270 to 300 degrees. And I'm here to tell you, buddy, you've got other issues other than what fluid to use. If you look at some of the gauges that, uh, say, Autometer manufacturers, a rear differential gauge pegs out at 250 degrees. An engine coolant temperature pegs out at 250 degrees. Transmission typically pegs out at 250 to 280 degrees. And brake fluid has a boiling temperature at 311 degrees. That's a dot four brake fluid. So for somebody to think that a power steering system that typically has three, maybe four quarts of oil capacity compared to these others that have gallons of capacity should run at a higher temperature and be okay, that's just foolish. But there's two characteristics that a synthetic fluid has that just isn't applicable in a power steering system. One, the heat that everybody talks about or the heat that the fluid can withstand before it breaks down. And two, how super, super slick that the fluid is. And here's why both of these are just not applicable. One, the veins inside a power steering pump start to break down. They actually start to transfer metal on metal or somewhat melt at 180 degrees. So if your steering system is at temperatures above 180 degrees, it's already starting to fail and there's not a fluid that's going to help you with that. So the heat range of a power steering fluid should never ever reach above 180 degrees, whether you've got a synthetic fluid or not. I like my temperatures to be around 140, 145 degrees. When it starts to reach 160, 165 degrees, I'm starting to look for things like restrictions. Um, whether that's a fluid restriction or maybe that's an air restriction across the, the cooler. Um, I start to look at the size of cooler. Um, I start to look at the fluid quality. I start to look to see if there's any aeration or cavitation. I start to look at all these type of things that we'll discuss in other videos. But if you're starting to reach temperatures upwards of 160, 165 degrees and you're starting to reach 180 degrees, you need to start looking at your power steering pump's environment. The other thing about the synthetic fluids being super, super slick, that's really good on engine, main bearings, cam bearings, uh, rod bearings, even in your differential, where you've got metal on metal contact or you want to prevent metal on metal contact. But in a power steering pump, it is a metal on metal vein design. So the front and rear plate, the ring, the rotor and the veins, they're all metal and they contact each other. That's why air in your system is really bad because they're metal on metal. If the fluid is so slick, the veins, they actually have to wipe against the ring to move the fluid to create your volume. So if the fluid is super, super slick, it's actually gonna create an internal blow by. So it can't seal against the ring and your volume is going to go down. So the two reasons why I don't recommend a synthetic power steering fluid is one, the heat temperature range that gives you that false security that everything is okay because the fluid won't break down at the higher temperatures is not applicable. And the super slickness is also not applicable because you're going to lose volume in its performance. Subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on more power steering facts, installations, and tech tips. And find us on social media.